In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Ki plus Cl2. This is potassium iodide plus chlorine gas. When we see we have two elements here, we have potassium and iodine, they're bonded together, and then we have chlorine, just chlorine gas here. We're thinking that this is probably going to be a single replacement reaction. So in that case, the chlorine, that would come in and it would push the iodine out. So the iodine now, it would be just I2 by itself. The chlorine would bond with the potassium, so we'd have KCl over here. That's our single displacement reaction. We should check, though, and see if this chlorine is active enough to push the iodine out. And we can do that by looking at this activity series for the halogens. That's group 17 or 7A. So if we look at the series here, we can see here's our iodine. It's way at the bottom. It's the least reactive. And then chlorine, it's towards the top, it's more reactive. So since chlorine is higher up on our activity series, it's more reactive than the iodine, the chlorine will be active enough to push the iodine out. So this reaction will happen. Let's balance the equation and then talk briefly about redox. So to balance the equation, I have two chlorines and just one. I'll put two here, now I have two potassiums. Put a two here, they're balanced, two iodines, but that's okay, two iodines here. That's the balanced equation. If I look at the oxidation states for each element, I can see the iodine starts out with a negative one oxidation state and goes to this zero since I2 is a free element. So we went from negative one to zero. We've lost an electron. We've been oxidized. For the chlorine, we start out as the free element zero. We go to negative one. We've gained an electron, so we're reduced. So this is also a redox reaction where electrons are exchanged. This is Dr. V with the type of reaction for Ki plus Cl2, potassium iodine plus chlorine gas. Thanks for watching. 